Think Realty Nation. It's your host, Avi Golhar. Welcome to the Think Realty Podcast. Today, we're talking about money. We're talking about markets. We're talking about the real estate industry with my good friend, Eddie Gant from Jet Lending. Now, something you've got to know about Eddie, he is a super high-energy guy, and he knows his stuff. So when it comes to lending, real estate, money, and making money, Right? These, these are all the concepts that you need to learn that you got to love. He loves them all, and he can talk to every single one of them. Before we bring him on, got to give a huge shout-out to the sponsor for today, Rent to Retirement. Uh, Rent to Retirement offers fully turnkey properties that are newly built or renovated, leased and managed, allowing you to invest in confidence out of state. They have single-family, multi-family, and new builds across 15 markets that maximize cash flow, appreciation, and equity. Check them out. Go to renttoretirement.com. You can call them also at 800-311-6781. Let's get to it. Eddie, welcome back. Man, happy new year. There's a lot that's happened. Uh, in the economy, spe- specifically uh, for real estate, you have interest rates that are rising. Uh, you have supply shortages of real estate across the country. Uh, you have investors that are wondering where the heck are they going to get their next deal and how many yellow letters do they have to send out. In 30 seconds, not even 30 seconds, 15 seconds, what's your number one strategy that you're recommending to real estate investors today? Go. Number one strategy, adjust, adjust, adjust. Uh, you got to know what the environment you're in. This environment that we are currently in that you just mentioned with the inventory shortage has been here now for a little while. Most most investors or a lot of investors probably hadn't fully adjusted that we're going to be in this for a while. All economists, I listen to three or four of them, all major economists that I listen to are saying 2022 going to be more the same that we had in 2021. So if you haven't adjusted to this hot sales market, get adjusted. If you haven't adjusted, get adjusted. What opportunities are you seeing there for real estate investors today? Are there still good flip, fix and flip opportunities, still good, maybe uh, ground up new construction, single family rentals? What's the feel? Well, the fix and flip business down in Texas is still extremely um, energetic, extremely good if you just want to be simple about it. Um, Are they harder to get today than they were five years ago? Are they harder to find? There's no need to, you know, try to sugarcoat it and say and say it's just as good, uh, but it's still very vibrant. Now, a smart man taught me a long time ago. Regardless of what market you're in, two to six percent of your total market will always be the distressed market. Is really where we're buying the dist- distressed properties in. That hasn't changed. It's a little tougher to get them, but it's still very vibrant. So when you say tough to get distressed property, uh, are you looking for like how heavily distressed are you looking? And then are these are, are these properties where you just have to hammer them with yellow letters or hammer them with some level of communication, phone call, text, email? Uh, yeah. Describe that a bit more for me. Yeah, you've got to market hard. You've got to get yourself into what I call the living room or the kitchen of the motivated seller for the distressed property to get the deal. You can only do so well buying off, in my opinion, in today's market, only do so well buying off MLS or from other wholesale sources. You've got to find your way into the kitchen and living rooms. You're only going to get there through direct marketing to get yourself in a position to do that. But that's the distressed market I'm talking about. They come in all shapes and sizes and reasons. We have a saying, looks bad, smells worse. You got to find the house that's beat up. You got to get into the inherited houses. You got to get into the rental properties gone bad. You've got to get into the ones where there's, for whatever reason, a financial um, um, stress point in that household that they're needing the quick investor cash sale and close within a couple of weeks. They come in all shapes and sizes, though. So when you're financing these transactions, uh, is hard money private money lending, is that getting cheaper right now? Uh, is that money getting cheaper? Is it getting more expensive? Uh, and, and what's the toggle on the origination points? Is it still between like two and four? Uh, help me kind of understand some of those trends. Yeah. Well, the, you, you, your, your sources for these funding, and you mentioned hard money, and that, that's a term, jet lending is a hard money company. We prefer to say asset-based lender, but you're basically going to get funded from three or four sources. There's the jet lendings of the world. Uh, we're a major force down here in Texas. You're going to find national hard money lenders. You're going to find sources of private. The advantage that a company like jet lending is going to have is speed and convenience and dependability. Uh, 
if you're looking strictly at rates, you're probably going to get a better rate from a national company than you are a local hard money lender, but you're not going to move as fast. You're not going to, uh, the underwriting is much more severe. So there's a give and take here as a buyer of an investment property. If you're buying in that, I'm going to give a wide range first and I'm going to focus in on it 40 to 85% of value. And really you're going to be probably buying in that 60 to 75% of value. If you're getting deals like that, and those deals do exist every day, you're probably having to promise a fast closing, a, a, a closing with um, no contingencies. And the hard money lenders like Jet Lending is, is, has a lot of value to offer someone like that because we're going to move a lot faster than I would say that our national competitors. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you have the local advantage, which is is beneficial almost a hundred percent of the time when you're when you're lending capital. Now you'll be at the Think Realty uh, event in Houston, Texas, uh, from March 24th to the 25th, and uh, Jet Lending will be the sponsor of the cocktail reception uh, there, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, what are some takeaways that you expect uh, to give to the audience um, at uh, at Think Realty Houston? Well, you know, we've always sold our service as a what I'd call a consultative selling, meaning we'll teach you for free. We'll help you. Uh, you know, at these events, you, you grab any of the jet lending staff and they're going to give you the ABCs, one, two, three, four, how you really do this business and how you protect yourself. That's, that's for this event, but we've always been like that. And education, remember I mentioned earlier about making the adjustments that's part of being educated to make those adjustments. And it's not only jet lending, but all your other vendors you're going to have there, the Think Realty staff themselves. Small adjustments pay huge in real estate investing. Small adjustments pay huge. You come into an event like this, if you're very seasoned, look for one, two, three small adjustments to take back and implement. If you're brand new, you're, you're on you know, ground zero in your knowledge, what better place to be than come surround yourself with these professionals, jet lending and others that know how to run this business and we can teach you and we're going to, we're going to help you. I mean, that's what it's all about. People help us. We don't mind giving back. You're right. Our second year in a row to sponsor the think realty event in Houston. Uh, we are the sponsor of the happy hour, two years running. We enjoy it. We had a great crowd last year. I would expect we're going to have an even larger crowd this year. Excellent. Eddie, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, in Houston on March 24th, 25th. And um, I, I really appreciate the insight and the time. You know, it, it, one, th one key takeaway that I always get from you, and I'm always reminded of this, which is why I love our conversation so much, is that small adjustment and stay local with good local information. That doesn't mean that you only invest locally. But wherever it is that you are investing, you want to use the local knowledge, the local investor, uh, the, the local advantage and meet up with different people. And if you're in Texas, you're in Austin, you're in Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, San Antonio, wherever, get in touch with Jet Lending. Uh, they really know what they're doing. Their team, uh, you heard it from Eddie himself, uh, they have no problem educating you on how you can get deals done. So, Eddie, thanks a lot for the time. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in Houston. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Of course. See you later. <laughs> Got to give a huge shout out to the sponsor for today, Rent to Retirement. Uh, Rent to Retirement offers fully turnkey properties that are newly built or renovated, leased and managed, allowing you to invest in confidence out of state. They have single family, multifamily, and new builds across 15 markets that maximize cash flow, appreciation, and equity. Check them out. Go to rentalretirement.com. You can call them also at 800 311 6781. You want to get in touch, uh, go to uh, thinkrealty.com. As you mentioned, Houston is a big, big, big deal for us. Uh, that's going to be our in person live event. No virtual this time, live only. Uh, for uh, that's going to be on March 24th and 25th. Uh, because uh, you're super cool and because I feel like it, uh, we're doing a buy one, get one uh, ticket. 
So if you register for two tickets, uh, you'll essentially pay the price of one. Go to thinkrealty.com slash Houston, type in the code podcast, and uh, we'll make the adjustment on that ticket for you. So it's going to be a great time in Houston. I really hope that you come out. I'm going to be there. I cannot wait to shake your hand or do a little elbow bump or fist or, you know, whatever, these kind of, these kind of things. You know, a good high five, uh, and, and we'll figure it out. But listen, talking through strategy, making the small adjustments is going to be really, really crucial for you. Do that this year and watch that portfolio skyrocket. Until next time, happy investing.